vanished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome to Classic Game Room, where the Force is strong with these Legos, it's Lego Star Wars, The Force Awakens. What can't they make games out of with Legos? I want to see a Lego version of The Shining. All work and no Lego makes Jack a dull boy. It's Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. This is the PlayStation 4 version, but you can get this on pretty much everything. And get it you should because this may be the best Lego game yet, except it does have one small, tiny, insignificant problem. No! That's impossible! He wasn't in the movie, why is he in this game as DLC? Well, here's how you turn a negative into a positive with a flamethrower. Flame Troopers, the Rancor, Lando Calrissian, it's not all bad, in fact, it's impressive. Most impressive. Sure, if you've played one of these LEGO games, you've played them all. But this one is just really good. It's totally Lando in pretty much every way except for the universe's most annoying Gungan, but at least you can electrocute, freeze, step on, and shoot him. We've got to be able to get some kind of a reading on that shield up or down. I love the way they do the Star Wars cutscenes with Legos. This has a wonderful sense of humor. Sure, Lego Star Wars may be based on my favorite film franchise. The shield is still up. And as you might expect, you play your way through the Force Awakens with Legos. But it's so much more than that. It's the collecting and exploring that make this game worth owning, and it's also a great family game. I laughed my ass off when I first saw the Stormtrooper light switching scene. If you're new to the LEGO games, I may suggest playing it single player first and then figuring out what you have to do, because these games have a lot of puzzle solving in them, and sometimes while the puzzles aren't that hard, they can be tricky if there's two people trying to figure them out for the first time. The cutscenes and the music are so good in this. When you start off, you have a couple characters, and as you play your way through the game, through The Force Awakens, you unlock new characters. And then by the end of the game, after countless hours of playing, you should have a lot of Star Wars characters. Like, all of them. So the first time you play through a level, you can't access everything. It requires repeat gameplay. And you'll have to unlock new characters and discover carbonite bricks and mini kits to gain access into new parts of the level. And fully explore it and discover everything, you'll need Admiral Akbar or a character like that to dive into the pools of water. You need the Jedi to do certain things, commanders to do certain things, and obviously droids to do a lot of the other stuff. It's fun, it's cheerful, it's likable, and this is a great example of if it ain't broke, don't fix it. This could be The Force Awakens, or Harry Potter, or The Hobbit, or whatever. They really just, they're all the same. But I love Star Wars, and I like Lego games, so this is perfect. I hope they make one based on Rogue One. And you know what? If you're gonna put Jar Jar in the game, at least make him flammable. I also enjoyed how some of the unlockable scenes or bonus scenes are, like, missing scenes from Star Wars The Force Awakens. We learn how 3PO gets his red arm, and there's some stuff with Kylo Ren and the Stormtroopers, and escape from Starkiller base with some new characters. You can go Rathtar hunting, and you learn what Poe does after he crashes on, um... I keep wanting to say Tatooine, but what, what, I forget it. The desert planet that's not Tatooine. One quarter portion. 
Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens. If you've enjoyed any of the other Lego games and you like Star Wars, I think you'll love this. Welcome to the Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a turbo volcano! Let's thank these Patreon backers starting with Jeff Breyer, Jeff Breyer, Derek Langley, Derek Langley, Michael and Ariana Nelson, Michael and Ariana Nelson, Michael Fernandez, Michael Fernandez, Stephen Chucknick, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Al, Al, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Rick DeBarros, Jason. Gore. Jason Gore. Sergio Matthias Hergert. Sergio Matthias Hergert. Chip Sankbell. Chip Sankbell. Busy Signal. Busy Signal. Sean Zoltek. Sean Zoltek. Philip Straubenmuller. Philip Straubenmuller. Jack Stavris. Jack Stavris. Oh, hot cunny. Oh, hot cunny. Ian Shore. Ian Shore. You sure are awesome. And Tiago Pereira dos Santos Silva dos Santos Silva. Tiago Pereira dos Santos Dos Santos Silva, Dos Santos Silva. <laughs>